Hey guys, Jack here from Salty Dragon Spearfishing. Today we are going to head out on the kayaks and do a bit of spearfishing and rod fishing. But as you can see, there's a fair bit of swell out there and there's not much fizz. So instead, let's head inland and we'll do a bit of foraging. Let's see what we can find. As soon as I stepped into the woods you could smell the wild garlic. Let's get in there and pick some. I like to pick the garlic leaves individually. This way you don't pick up any poisonous or unwanted plants. The best identifier to wild garlic is to crush the leaves in your hands and smell them. There should be a strong garlicky smell. Wild garlic leaves are a long pointed spear shape. They don't have any veins, just a prominent central midrib. The white flowers cluster around a single upright stem. But that's enough wild garlic for now, so let's go home and cook with it. Let's start by washing our garlic in cold running water. And now we're just going to pile it dry in between two tea towels. For the salt, we're just going to take 30 grams of wild garlic and 30 grams of salt and we're going to put them in a blender and we'll whiz them up. Once that becomes a fine paste, we'll chuck it in a bowl with the remaining of the salt and give it a thorough mix. I'll spread it on an oven tray, put it in a low oven and leave it for 20 to 30 minutes until it's dry. While that's in the oven we can get on with our butter. Finally chop up one 250 gram stick of butter and then chop up 50 grams of wild garlic leaves. Put them into a bowl and give them a real good mix. Now we're going to spread the garlic butter into some cling film and roll it up into a sausage. Our salt should be done now so we can take that out of the oven. All we've got to do is jar it up. And there we have it, wild garlic salt with wild garlic butter. The full recipe will be in the description below. And don't forget to hit like and smash that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching.